Katie Gack, good game stream. Paper Mario. What's good? Yeah, I started right when the ad did. I'm like that now. <laughs> no, not really. I <laughs> just had really bad timing on that one. I try not to do that, but you know how it goes. I have something. Conflict. Okay, we're going back to Rogueport. Which is a pretty quick trip, actually. Oh my goodness, Mario. Sounds like you got an email. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. The x knots plan to use its power to take over the world. And they're collecting the crystal stars so that they can open the thousand-year door and unseal the demon spirit. These same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Your sub, Sky. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Peach. Ancient demon spirit. <laughs> Metal gear. Sorry. <laughs> Frankly, probably. Oh no. Well, I'll figure it out. Thanks for selling. My, my subby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that just what I'll call my subscribers now? My subbies? <laughs> I didn't think of a one minute BRB extra circumstance. Go at top. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sometimes interruptions. I gotta go down to the door. Pretty sure, at least. At this point, I kind of have it figured out. You get into the swing of it this time. Lotus effect that it has. Oh, the good part. Oh, wait, that's chapter five, right? Oh my god, this part is awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, I know what we have to do now. Is the best part of the game. Oh my god, <laughs> it really is. Oh, what? That was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it? 
How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Well, come on, give it up, Prof. What'd you find out? Well, this is rather long, so you better listen well. Are you ready? And you, there, in front of the screen, you listen up too. Did someone pile drive on your head or what? I don't see any screen here, Professor Poindexter. Oh, never mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city, which once stood here, may well refer to this demon. It said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by the monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to the legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit beneath the pla Palace of Shadow, locked behind the Thousand Year Door. From this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect a demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Hey, then isn't it possible that we shouldn't gather the crystal stars? Maybe we ought to just stomp the heck out of them and throw the pieces away. That was actually my first thought though, but uh, further research suggests that we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening, and it seems that the Crystal Stores hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, let's roll then. To seal the demon, we gotta get the rest of the Crystal Stars. Where's the next one at? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Excuse me. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to fight my way through here. Oh, I don't have a lot of problem here. Did that miss? Easy peasy. You video game heroes always pull this stuff. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Oh, well, you know, maybe a little bit, I mean. I mean, just like a... 
It's like a little bit, though. Dang, at this point, should we do the, uh... The help center? There's a lot of different things to run there, though. What are we gonna do here? Oh, um, Yoshi across, maybe? Oh. I love how every Yoshi jump in this game is, like... Exact. Hockey. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I guess you gotta help him to advance the uh, quest, actually. stars. Wait, I can level up everybody. <laughs> Might as well. I guess I haven't missed any. I guess I should also do the quest for... I have to go back to Hooktail's castle. I know there's one. Um, I don't know, is it too early to do that? We'll see if, um... The secret quest is there. Or do you have to do all of them to get them to show up? I don't remember how to do that. We gotta get the secret partner, though. Oh dang, we've downloaded our uh, Nintendo 64. Thank you, Merlin. Oh, it is there. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> you took my trouble? You? Okay. Then just find my key. Be quick about it. Yoshi's footsteps don't make sound anymore. What's up with that? It's like the tiniest little pitter-patter. What happened to his, like, walk noise? That was, like, the whole point. It was like... Meep, 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 meep. It was the most annoying freaking noise in the world. I loved it. <laughs> I think they got a lot of complaints about the annoying, like, ambient wah, 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 all the time in this game. <laughs> no. Oh, 
Ah, oh, head rattle is really cool. Me? I just like badges. I collect cool ones. <laughs> oh wait, I wanted damage dodge actually. I don't know why I walked by that. You know, sometimes you just... There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't need to do that at all, by the way. So great, I'm gonna do it twice. Oh my goodness, that was how yours was- Oh, so I really did it the wrong way. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really did get that one the wrong way. I mean, I guess I, it's right, but no wonder it was pixel perfect. You weren't supposed to go that way. <laughs> this game, I love this game. It's my favorite. <laughs> True. Masterpiece, uh-oh. Where am I? Okay. Good afternoon, I am called Griffy, the Traveling Mistral. I know the stories. I can share them, but it will require a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim it was a great calamity that be befell the city, but nay, it was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. In its den, its palace grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. In order to increase its already formidable power, the demon created the crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. These stars were scattered across the land, the better to exert the demon's influence. One of these castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadows. One day, there came a hero who could vanish the f vanquish the foul demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods, gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land.
a Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the lamp. He went alone wherever evil dwelt and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear this scar-riddled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. And a Boo who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold Boo last. The Boo used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil that they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We needed the toad hero of Petalwood Meadows and the wise Goomba of the Bogley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so, these four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. The power of the world-devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the Crystal Stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it in motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the Toad's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses, and at that moment the brave Koopa seized the stars, and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. Story's getting good, now I want to hear it out. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Goomba thought of another use for the crystal stars in that dire hour. See, she suggested sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strength with the power of the crystal star, and they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together, they made it so that only all seven stars could break the seal. After the demon was sealed within the Palace of Shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But after the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and the immoral began to congregate at this once barren place. And soon, it became a populous harbor, the town of Roadport. And some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept beneath them still. I love floor dump guy. Oh crap, I was supposed to be on that roof. I got totally distracted by that story. <laughs> No, I needed the lore dump guy. He's a great palate cleanser. There we go. What do you blokes want? I have no interest in passing the time with you, so leave me be. Now, away with you. What about your back room? <laughs> Can I have this? Thank you. Well, that didn't go well. I guess I have to go to the harbor first. Hockey. Oh, I've heard that place is absolutely awful. I've heard. Well, not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. 
I bet they met that bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys are dumb. <laughs> Kill Hall Key. You mean the island where the treasure hoard of the Cortez, the Pirate King, is hidden? So, you want treasure, huh? Well, fine, but keep an eye out or the Pirate Curse will get ya. Kill Hawkey! That, that's a cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me, you know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to go poof and get rich, you know? Poof! <laughs> poof! Who's this boat at harbor? Oh, we got a boat. At least there's that. Oh, you with the mustache, with the stink guy, yeah? You got something to say? Right? Ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Oh, Kyohoki. Listen, mate. Don't ask about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. And then... <laughs> ah, what do you want, huh? <laughs> Who, me, you ask about? I am called Flavio, and how you say a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, and yes, freedom gives me wealth, a spirit. <laughs> and yet, why is that a man whose life is unchained must always long for more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears in my very <laughs> this tears in my very insides. I must know what do I lack? Ah, uh, romance, definitely. <laughs> romance, you say, huh? I suppose one does need more romance in life. <laughs> what other sweet, delectable fruit, <laughs> delectable fruit, could make so many wonderful pasta sauces? <laughs> No, foolish Flavio, not Romas, you silly man. What I need is romance. <laughs> Wait, hold that horses. That is it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of the Cortez, the Pirate King. It's not the Cortez, I keep saying that. Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, that is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. <laughs> Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on Keel Hall Key? Ah, oh, well that takes... The... The... Ah, well the tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot, but not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. <laughs> People here whisper that the ghost of the Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to kill Hawkey. But that will not stop Flavia. The treasure is there, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavia, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? Talk of legendary treasure? Here, beneath Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of town. You cannot be believing such stupid rumor about the treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now, what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keel Hall Key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure out from under me. You awful, awful man. Well, now I'm confused. 
you are looking for things known as the crystal stars? But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Corte Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keel Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours. But the rest of the treasure is mine. You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Aha! You unfortunate, foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship in ready in no time. And it will be massive and glorious. <laughs> Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure. Trickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. I like this version of Mario, which like sees Luigi in the bar and just like walks past. <laughs> this Mario who like seriously tries to pretend he doesn't see his brother standing right there. <laughs> Where he's like, I got enough problems right now. <laughs> Oh, it's you, uh-huh. Sadly, we have another problem. Feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and the circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? But she's not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water. Tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I've completely forgotten. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off. The navigator is, of course... The highest rank helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now here is the real problem. The water around Keelhaw Key are deathly dangerous. And we need an absurdly skilled helmsman, helmsman as our navigator. It is how you say, a pickle. Hi, Flavio. Heard you talking, sir, and don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't tease me, Pat Patch. Do you think you can solve our problem? Then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have given the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen of him on the seas as of late. Problem solved. Let us scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle those negotiations. Those will be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Then it's decided. You'll find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. I accidentally went there early. Or should I do Miss Mouse? I should do that before I continue, honestly. 
I know. I'm gonna talk to Bobbery. I think you can get him for a little window while you're still here. But if not, I'm going to do the other thing. Heck yeah! You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. Excuse me, sir. You're full of crap. <laughs> Frankly, just sold you out, dog. <laughs> Frankly, he's like, oh, Bobbery? Yeah, I know. He's next door. <laughs> literally, literally, like, yeah, he's right there. Don't play dumb with us. We were already told that you are Admiral Bobbery. Oh, Poppycock, tell me. What would you want me with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator. You want me to do the job? I'm so sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall never set sail upon the sea. Nevermore. Look, we're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide our ship to kill Hawk Key. This is serious. <laughs> Awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. Um... What do we do, Mario? The guy doesn't seem too stoked. Hmm. You know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weirded out about the sea anyway? We ought to find someone who knows this guy and find out what his malfunction is. <laughs> Admiral Bobbery won't go to sea. Well, that's a setback. Hmm. I don't know the man myself, but I don't know what to say. So I don't know what to tell you. I'd be willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. Who is Podley? Is that the bartender? Say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to kill Hawkey? Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's Dale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. 
Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed, and she was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health, and I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, they tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Mr. Ruckus over here. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. You all know his tale now, so tell me. Do you still want him to return to the sea? No choice. Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. If I should succumb to the plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so you may hear my voice. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I couldn't bring myself to present the letter to him. I regretted it ever since. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Kind of a dick move, actually. Bro saw this guy suffering and said, Dang, I don't want to give him the letter for his closure. And like, maybe tell him the last thing his wife said to him. <laughs> Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now, away with you! Pardon? A letter? For me? What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting! My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. And though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Don't lose both of your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. A thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone? Now then, you're looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Kiel Hockey. Then if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. 
Admiral Bobbery, awesome. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I'll meet you there. Well. I guess you don't get them to follow around with you now. But I want to get her before we go to the key, because the thing can't come back here for a while. Crap. Where was she? I don't remember where she was. Seriously, why do they silence his footsteps? It's really weird. Roof of Zesty's house. What's going on? I feel like I just walked right by her then. <laughs> Mr. Mustache, I'm the one with the trouble. A pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let's get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, that much I'm sure. I want to check that room after I've heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though, so look for it, will you? Sure. Oh wait. That's right, the fast travel pipe is right here. Dude, I wasn't gonna I was gonna go the long way. Oh my gosh, I'm out of it finally. Holy crap, that's a crapper. I really couldn't tell you which way is faster. That's like a fast travel that's not really faster. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Say ahoy. I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. The men have already loaded the cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we will depart at once. Oh wait. Crap, I'm not ready yet. Oh my goodness. Thank you. 
no, 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 You hit that badge. It's a little game. I have to apologize, but I knew you'd find it. You may even have more badge finding skill than I do. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Not just about that reward. Let's see. Get the badge you managed to find. I expect you to lead me to more. Well, perfect, because we're going on an adventure. I like that she like has a radar function now. She like does it by default before you had to talk to her.
All right, now we can go. Heck yeah. This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I mean, I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you. Bye bye. Infiltration successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat. X not black is on board the vessel. Heck yeah. Welcome to Chapter 5 of Paper Mario. Month, Star, Day, XL. Good, I know these are definitely numbers. Over the protest of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. In this voyage, as reckless as they say, ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. Month, day, another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. As if they are blessing, it is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them heartily. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh no, he's gonna talk about his tales of raw bravery. No, it's no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. But yes, even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Oh great, he started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen till he's finished. Yeah, and if you interrupt a mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Why is he... What? What's going on here? The ship's stopping. Hey, Master Flavio. Awful sorry to interrupt a wicked story. But the ship stopped. Huh? Stopped, you say to me? After interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it's your job to keep the ship moving, yes? So take care of it. I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you that I am not so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a goomba stomping moment, you scallywag. <laughs> Oi, quit shoving. I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. They're here! 
What's the ruckus now? Who's here? Will someone tell me what's going on? No, they're upon us! They're pirate ghosts! All oh, the rumors were true! What do we do? We gotta get out of here! Do not panic yourselves. This is all just a dream that we're all having. Awake! Now quickly, move the boat! Oh, ghostly thing, are you really the savage pirate king? Fuck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax, don't panic. Relax, relax, I say. Poppery, no! Listen, everyone, if we could form an orderly line without shoving. We must get out of here. Abandoned ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island, Keelhaw Key, was our intended destination all along. And yet, we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King. So what happens to us now, huh? We must... We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We've made semblance of civilized life here. The shit's flotsam had washed in, and now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty from the sea, but then what? We've built a few huts from the washed up timbers. The poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no sign of Bobbery and the others. In my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the island now, and the huts are all finished. We've carved out a life here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Oh, another level that honestly just looks so good. Oi, Captain Stash. It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Dude, it's Waka. Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Waka do. Wack who? Direct hit. <laughs> I can't even take it. I punched him in the head for literally no good reason. Bump crazy powerful too. Whack who Please help us, Flavio and Patcher, in a huge fight. 
What about you, Squinty? Y'all turned to jelly when we saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did you just crawl the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. Captain Stash, them ghosts are back. Mario, front and center, that's an order. Take care of the ghosts. I don't think you can super guard it. You're a bloomin' beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate now. There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must have investigated the rest of the island. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I brook no argument. Yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you can handle the exploration of this island? That's my boy. I knew you could do... That's my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. I don't need anything. I don't have any inventory anyway. <gasps> That's lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness.
perks of early bone hell. Wow, I, I have no idea how I just found that. Love to keep this. Shine spray was cool. Curse the ghost, blast it all. My blockers botches. It's that Mario over there. You're alive, old boy. Right, you came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. Huh, but what about you, Admiral? Just leave it to me. I'll keep these ghosts busy while you get out of here. Please, that's an order. Let me do what I must do. Now, away! Gone, huh? Excuse me, but I better be going also. Hey, you. Out there, looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Might be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but don't tell Mario. Or else. Looking at the screen, is that guy lost it? <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool moment. how a legend of the sea meets its end, huh? Gonna try this. Oh goodness, yeah, I have great artistic ability. I guess uh, <laughs> one. The pain of it all. Oh, Mario, old boy. Ugh. I guess this bloke's got me a bit better than I thought. Mario. 
Please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving one bottle, my last in memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the floats I'm drifting towards the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might have just one more sip before my final voyage. Give me that cola, old boy. I need that. For a deserted island, there sure is a lot of crap laying around. Inventory for all this crap. Tells me that's not it. Get over this way. This water doesn't kill you, duh. Interesting rock. Looks like a skull. There's a spot on this eye that would fit something. I feel like I've seen it before. Oh, right.
Ah, oh, you're still alive. We have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavia. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Oh, well, everyone's accounted for. Now, wait a moment. Are we still one man short? That's right. Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we have to go back and help him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our Admiral. What is that you say? Chocola Cola. Why would I have that? Flavio is curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may perish and he wants to drink it as his last wish? So what we're dealing with is sort of a last request? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach. But for this noble cause, I yield. However, the cola is part of our supplies, which we need to survive. Say, I need you to find something to eat to replace this. I'm sure there's something on this island that would be suitable for replacement. Coconut. Well, here you go. Take the cola and give my regards to the Admiral. Hmm? Oh, that's not it. Probably gonna call it once I rescue Bobbery and we get back to the uh, campsite for the night. brought it. Oh, this glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the man. The sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace. I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I should be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. I think he's just sleeping. He is, and here I was getting all choked up. Give him a whack. Huh, what? Pirates! Where are the pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Hey, you're still alive, bozo. Oh, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors. Oh, right. Now I recall. Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you. 
I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful. Proper aim, you can toss the higher elevations. Yep. So that's going to wrap up today's episode, I think. Puts us at a good spot. Did a lot of sidetrack today, but we made some good progress.